So this is what it comes down to, me eating pizza by myself on the beach in paradise for the second month. Well, um, a lot of people have asked how I'm doing, what's going on, how is it in Thailand, and it's still pretty good. I mean, it took a while for even any measures like lockdown or stuff to reach here, so yeah, I'd say I'm doing pretty well. I mean, it's horrible to read all around the world what's happening with all the spread of the disease and stuff, but here that's just not happening, and people seem to be doing a really good job of... Uh, not spreading the disease, taking it really seriously with hand sanitizer and face masks. So, yeah. It's nice to still be able to go outside, ride the motorbike around, go on the beach. It's now a 10 p.m. curfew to be home, which is nice. <laughs> That's usually when I sleep. You know, 10, 30, 11 is usually when I go to sleep. So, yeah. I don't know how long I'm going to be in Thailand. And, you know, I would have loved to be back in Belgrade, Serbia right now. When, uh, well, it's springtime, one of my favorite seasons, but it wouldn't be the place that I, I remember now because the city shut down and locked down and all that stuff. And so I'm happy here, trying to live my life online, keep my vision going of the global working culture, keep my people going and all that stuff. But yeah, I'm going to be focusing on um, health and wellness over the next month or so, as I have been over the last month. But um, I'm going to training, be training with one of the guys um, who lives with me on the same property, and he has an outdoor gym there. And yeah, hm. I don't know what to say other than it's time to enjoy this pizza. Hope everyone else is well and... Um, yeah, I'm just really happy. I made the choice to come to Thailand before everything got locked down, where lots of space for everybody on this island. And the sense of peace that drew me here in the first place still continues. Be well, everybody. And uh, think of ways to better yourself and to develop whatever. I saw one girl was learning Spanish, um, other people should learn other languages or learn about whatever. Take advantage of your time and uh, do whatever you think is going to make you the next version of you after all of this subsides and after life gets back to normal. What's that going to mean for you? And will the new normal be the enhanced version of you? Because there's a chance to raise a lot of consciousness here in this whole thing. I mean, think about the world, think about life, think about the way you were living your life before and how maybe now you can improve that especially the impact on the environment um, and all of that stuff all of that social stuff the greed the capitalism all that stuff to get to the next stage in human evolution we really need to get past a lot of those bad habits and yeah this is a nice time to reflect on who you're going to be after all of this happens so I want to be healthier more considerate and definitely want to cherish the ability to go out and meet people a lot more. Thanks a lot, Eric, on the island of Koh Phangan, Thailand. Beautiful Sunday, beautiful pizza. Here we go.